guys, I'm just going to quickly take you through my warm up. You can do this before any session. I just like to do this to get my whole body ready for whatever movement I'm about to do, whether it's like a heavy leg session or whether I'm doing locomotion or yoga or anything. This is just a perfect warm up to get the whole body ready and everything open and feeling good. So let's get it. Enjoy. All right, guys, back in the booth. Here we go. Reach those hands up, throw them down, breathe out. Once again, reach the hands all the way up. Open up side to side, open up that side body. Slowly work your way down, slowly forward fold, rolling the arms, warming everything up, knees, arms, shoulders. Grab your elbows if you'd like, just to pull yourself down a little further. Rise all the way back up, nice back bend. Keep your breath nice and even as we bend over externally rotating the hands as you lean back internally rotating the hands as you lean forward try and keep your breath going external rotation lean back throw it out there next up just take a seat we're going to jump on all fours we're just going to slowly warm the wrists up and also the knees so we're dropping down onto the heels putting a little bit more weight into the hands you can lift the knees off the ground if you like. We're just rocking back and forth. Really press away through your shoulders and just keep this nice movement going. You can put your bum up into a down dog sort of position if you like, if your wrists are feeling ready to go. Mine take a while to warm up, so I tend to spend quite a bit of time here. And we're doing rotating cat cows, so you can just do a normal cat cow here if you feel comfortable doing that or you can try and copy what I'm doing here and just rotate through the shoulders, the spine and the hips or you can just do normal cat cows like I am now. Keep that breath going, don't stop breathing. Try and really extend through your spine, breathe out, push away, down dog, stretch it out, walk the hands back. Reach the hands up above the head, leaning to the left or to the right, and do the opposite side. Open up that side body. This is all just signaling our body, getting it ready to do this relatively aggressive movement that is a workout coming up after this. All right, back onto the hands and knees. This time we can load up the wrist with a little bit more weight. So we can lean forward. You're Almost coming into a push-up, but you're not doing it. Push away through the scap, all the way at the top. Drop down low through the elbows, really warming our wrists and elbows and everything up. If this is too tricky, then just keep doing cat-cows or scap push-ups. Back into down dog, into full plank, and just rotate between the two for a little bit. In a moment, we're gonna drop our hips or you can drop your scap and do a plank, full plank, cat cow. So now we're dropping the hips and going down dog into upward facing dog. Drop the hips, drop the knees on the ground if that's too hard for you to do the full version. Hips down, bring yourself back up with the core. Push back out to down dog. Opening up the chest, opening up the shoulders, warming up the wrists, the hips, the knees, everything. So interlace the fingers now behind your back and do some neck circles. Don't want to tweak that neck with any of the movements that we have coming up. We're going to be doing a few funky things in the next video, so feel free to tune into that if you are watching this one as the warm-up. So keep your head rolling, switch sides and roll the other way. With your hands, try and just pull down on your shoulders so that you're creating a little bit of tension through your traps and through your neck so those head circles feel even better. So now we're keeping the spine as mobile as possible. Once again, external rotation, hips up, lean back, internal rotation of the arms, fold down, bend the spine, opposite external rotation, come up, lean back, internal rotation of the shoulders drop down big breath in lean back external rotation now we're going to drop into a camel pose or a single-sided camel 
and just dropping right hand to right heel keeping the hips nice and high left hand to left heel such an awesome way to open up the body i, <laughs> I fucking love this one it's so good keep the breathing going through this whole thing don't stop breathing don't hold your breath all right back up to a standing position we're going to do some squat work and just warm the knees and hips all the way up same with the ankles just take a wide stance and we're going to be rocking side to side opening up through one leg you can let the ankle roll a little bit the knee open on one side and just rock back and forth you don't have to have your heels on the ground we're just playing around in this low position to make sure that the body is nice and warm in a squat a squat's such an awesome position to spend some time in um like an incredible teacher says ido portel squats one of the most important positions right hand on the ground left hip open left arm up in the sky left hand on the ground right hip open right hand up to the sky and now this is one of the best exercises to get your handstand push-up strength or just handstand strength try and have all the weight the whole time that you're doing this into your hands and into your shoulders even when you drop down and tuck your bum still keep the weight in your hands so this is an awesome way, like I said, to practice that handstand. If you can imagine me pushing all the way up into a handstand from this position, it's absolutely awesome. I'm so grateful to be learning the handstand. You can come up on the fingertips, pressing away, really warming those wrists up now. Should be feeling pretty warm. Pressing away the fingertips, get some blood in those forearms. Extremely crucial forearm and wrist warm up really love doing it <clears throat> and now we're just going to do some wrist circles so you can throw the shoulders in there if you want feel free to get funky feel free to dance around a little bit as part of your warm-up this is just a recommendation and something that i do each session is different but this is the one that i did today roll those wrists around this is one of the last few movements before we wrap this warm-up up Hands together, splay your fingers as wide as possible and do some prey circles, pressing into the wrists and just spinning those hands around. Really warm up through the wrists. If you find any points of tension, then just sit there. You notice that in this video, some points that I just sort of sit on a little bit longer. Shake those wrists out. Do the Conor McGregor fucking do right. Get those shoulders moving. <laughs> Jiggle it out. Wiggle it out. What is your body feeling? What is it keen for? Hands up. Open up. Awesome shoulder warm up here. One of the last few. Left hand rotates. Right hand rotates down. Look at the thumb that you're rotating down. Get a few of these in way to warm up your shoulders and also keep the scapula doing their thing interlace the fingers now hopefully you can lean all the way forward and all the way back sitting back onto the hands there quite an intense stretch that one all right opening up in the squat position trying to press one knee down to the ground and the other knee back up don't worry too much about the specific form of this just try to be on your toes and play with dropping your knees to the ground see if you can get both legs knees to the ground use your arms for balance if you like or don't use them at all and test yourself rocking through the hips and the calves splay those toes some standing calf raises just to wake the the ankles and calves all the way up we're trying to wake everything up here as high as you can go spread the toes a few reps here love working on my feet posture and a cheeky tai chi energy booster get your breath going 
and just rock and twist side to side. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, guys, feel free to continue to warm up or jump to the next video and get a little push workout in with me. Or just use this to wake your body up or get ready for a session of your own. Thank you guys so much for watching. For the dream, the contentment, let's go.